12 girls in a classroom. Well, the incident took place in Mandya district in Karnataka where the girls were frisked and stripped for 100 rupees, which their classmate lost. Let's go across to my colleague Sagai Raj joining us in further detail. Sagai Raj, to find lost rupees 100, school girls they're being shipped by none other than headmistress and now she's suspended. Yeah, a shocking incident which has been reported from Mandia where 29 students were stripped on 31st of August uh, the, so when she was checking uh, whether anybody has stolen 100 rupees and she also asked one of the students to close all the doors and windows which, uh, even, uh, where the HM went, I mean to say headmistress, went inside the class personally and started to check every single student. And this came to light only when... Uh, the education department chief Manjula went to Mandia and inspected the school and the students started to complain about this and immediately she was being sacked and that's how the incident came to light. Okay, well stay with us Sagai Raj, we're getting some further inputs on this. We do have Ms. Romila Nisargi, lawyer and activist joining us over the phone line. Good morning Ms. Nisargi, your thoughts on the shocker they're coming in where 29 girls apparently were rounded off and stripped in a school by the headmistress who wanted to search them for 100 rupees which one of the girls reported was lost. This sort of action they're being taken by the headmistress. It's too much, you know. You just can't contain yourself. When such things will happen, no. After independence, we thought that the children are independent, they get good education, they get free education. They will have all love and affection by the school. And in the border, what they get is this result. I can't think whether something is wrong with the system or with the teacher or with the administration. I only think that the administration, whoever it is, must be taken to task. And the teacher who was responsible for it must be also removed from the job immediately and further action must be taken by prosecuting her. I, can, and I can't even understand the state, state of mind of those 29 kids. Okay, we'll leave it at that, Mr. Sergei. Thanks very much for joining us for a moment. Let's go back to our colleague, Sagai Raj, joining us with further updates. Sagai Raj, uh, just update us with the actions that have been taken against the headmistress. And look at the irony. We're looking at, uh, what, the 5th of September, which is tomorrow, Teacher's Day. And in, we're looking at uh, teachers getting punished for the kind of deeds they continue to do in schools. Yes, uh, if you see that is not the first kind of uh, first of those incidents which have been reported in their schools. But okay. this is a, one of those incidents which has come to light. But students who were uh, uh, studying in that school, they went on to say that there were many more problems uh, which they were facing uh, to the education department chief when she visited on the 31st of August. And uh, if you see this particular headmistress, she's been already been suspended by the education department and they are. Uh, trying to uh, uh, take more, act, more action against us. Okay, we'll leave it at that, Sagaraj. Thanks very much for joining us for a moment.